So, tomorrow is the first day of my last semester of my final year in medical school. So to tackle the next day, everything should be prepared the night before. I should know what I have to do the next day and the most important thing, I should sleep on time. And as you can see, I've already failed at that because I have a match which is going to end around 1.30 a.m. And it will be a challenge to see if I can keep up tomorrow. So let's find out. Right after the match, I prepare for bed and being so happy that Chelsea won, I decide to sleep in my jersey and wake up at 7.30pm in the morning and carry on with my morning routine. I think for the past 4-5 to five years, my morning routine has been the same. I start my day with 2-3 to three cups of warm water and a small dose of social media in the morning. What has changed is this. I am doing some Anki cards because I know I am going to be busy throughout the day and then I move on to do my revisions for my final exams which is coming up at the end of the semester. And soon enough it's time for my first day of my last semester of my final year at my university. So believe it or not, I've been carrying the same bag for my first year of medical school because it's so amazing. It has everything. And yes, also that small little PlayStation keychain. So I put my stethoscope, lab coat and an iPad in the bag which actually has a separate pocket for itself and then move on to the university. On the way, I pick up my friends who are actually very startled to see a camera in their face as soon as they sit in the taxi. Hello. While in the hospital, we are required to wear our masks all the time and also get a temperature check as soon as we enter the building. So it's family medicine cycle but being the first day, we did not do much clinical stuff. We basically discussed some clinical scenarios and patient histories with our teacher who is actually a pulmonologist. So most of our discussions were around COPD, asthma and etc. So I've been trying to practice intermittent fasting which is basically not eating for I think 12 to 16 hours a day and then eating for the rest of the day. So it's been around 14-15 hours I haven't eaten and I'm super hungry so I just grab my cereal and switch on Netflix and relax. At around 1.15 pm with some food in my belly and apparently death note in my head, I finally decide to finish all my Anki cards for the day. So let me give you guys a quick update. In the morning I woke up, you saw everything, I did uh, my Anki, I did my revision, went to uni, came back, I thought I would feel sleepy and I would doze off. But I didn't, I don't know why, I've just had 5 hours of sleep. But yeah, so what I try to include in my day is revision every day, Anki every day, new topics on weekdays only and practice questions on weekdays. Why I think my food is here. Still have to do practice questions and still have to study the new material. So let's see how it goes. 
it's time for food and i'm going to watch some death note maybe another episode or two we'll see So after a pretty long break it's time to move on with the day with the next task on my to-do list which is to practice clinical questions for which I use Boats and Beyond and I already have a review video on it so make sure to check it out right after this one So it's 4 p.m. and I have done all my habits which I told you about the things I usually do every day or at least on weekdays Now all I have left to do is new material. So to find out what new material I'll study today and what I'll revise, I use this Notion database which I created for myself known as Cos Space Repetition. Cos standing for general medicine, OBGYN and surgery. So here you can see there are total number of questions which I have, the total number of revisions I have to do today which is 2 and the total number of questions which I've already done. So for due today I have these two revisions which I have to complete and it has its source mentioned its subtopic and its date for revision which is today So after doing the revision let me show you how I feed it into the system. I open the topic and I have some pointers written down here about which I actively recall in my mind. Next thing is I mention my last revision date which is today February 18 and then I go on to select a stage for this topic. So there are 10 stages and since this is a fairly new topic I'm going to select stage 1. Putting a stage basically decides when I'm going to see this topic next. So as you can see I selected stage 1 and it got removed from my due list. If I would have selected 2 it would come after 2 days or 3 days. If I selected 3 after 5 days or whatever as the algorithm is completely customizable. Here you can see when I select medicine it shows me all topics I have for medicine and along with that it shows me the sub topics my last revision which I did and an automatically generated review date based on the stages I have given to the topic. So this is basically my secret tool for revising every single day which tells me which topic I have to do when and from where that means the source so I have it all listed out all planned out automatically and I don't have to worry about that I just have to worry about doing it and yes I'm actively working on putting out a video tutorial on the same so make sure you subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss this one and you'll see it will change the way you study you'll start revising every single day and you'll thank me later just comment down below if you think this technique would be very useful for you and i'll have the video out as soon as possible So I finally gathered the energy to work out and I have my workout with me. I'm doing center this new program center fusion Monday first day. Let's see how is it. It is box hit. I'll require some dumbbells 25 minutes. Let's go. So I did it. My 
first workout of the week. Hopefully I can continue it. Let's see, around 25 minutes. These many calories. Yeah, I'm gonna end this workout, go for a shower and let's see how the day goes. Maybe I can go out and show you around. Let's find out. And yes, one more habit I'm doing these days is listening to audiobooks on Audible while I'm taking a shower, just for 15 minutes. And I've managed to finish two audiobooks. That's great. Whew. So, most of the day is done. I've managed to finish all my tasks. And now, whatever time is left till I sleep, it's just for me to relax, chill, talk to family, friends, meet friends, go out maybe. This part of the day is very important for me because if I don't take a break, the next day is kind of heavy. I'm not one of those people who can study, you know, 10, 12 hours and just go on repeating it every single day. I need a break. That's just how I am. And yeah, so now the fun begins. So I've recently got hands on a next gen console, the Xbox Series S, and I'm absolutely Let's loving go. it especially the quick resume feature which lets you play your game instantly from where you left off and I think it's the best feature especially if you're a student because you can jump right into your game after your studies and waste no time in between. After that I go on to eat my food while talking to my family whom I miss a lot because I have not been able to see them in 2020 because you know. And the time has finally come to go around for a walk with my friend and also show you the beautiful city of Yerevan. Who oh, am I kidding? I'm not gonna leave you. Come. Let's go. Manik, like I called you today out of nowhere, so like I said, like let's go, the weather is nice. So you might have your own work, your own studies. Mm. So how do you manage your time, like when someone calls you out of the blue? I mean, Subhav, my simple, my main mantra is finishing all the priority work in the by evening actually. Mm -hmm. And the rest, leave the rest for the evening. Could be gaming, could be walking outside, could be, I don't know, anything else. Priorities are to be finished by evening and that's my main mantra, period. So same like me, I try to finish everything by 6.37 and then like sometimes I'm gaming, gaming with you, mm -hmm. playing Call of Duty, yeah. which I don't these days. Yeah, I know, I've, I've seen your video a day in my life, so I know. <laughs> So if you ever happen to come to Armenia and to Yerevan, the capital city, mm -hmm. this is I guess the most happening place around here. Maybe not now, it's 11 p.m. But you would see this crowded and when it's snowing, there are usually huts here. So yeah, this is the most happening place you can see. It's been a long day and I hope you enjoyed going through with my day, surviving the day with low sleep and also vlogging everything throughout the day. I'm ready to crash into bed right now. So if you enjoyed the vlog, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed this day with me. Thank you.